Alright everyone, first morning out, so out here on the river. The water's dropped a ton over the past week, which in itself isn't a bad thing. Because um, the river's so big as it is, but it's running about half of what it was a week ago. Um, which is really cool, so should condense the fish a lot and I'm pretty stoked. So got out here early in the morning and uh, gonna try and uh, make some casts and see what I can have bite at the other end of my line. So I'm just gonna start out with a uh, size A green butt skunk, keep it super simple and uh, something that's worked for me in the past. So should be pretty good. I am, uh, I'm pretty excited. It's a great time of year. All right, so waiting out here. I don't think I have to go very far. I think a lot of these fish are gonna be pushed up uh, towards the seam, closer to the bank. Always gonna start short though. So a little bit of backstory. Spay fishing is something that's brand new to me and is something I've taken a lot of effort to learn over the past two months. Over the course of the summer, I had practiced casting long rods with skagit tips. But separately from that, spay lines were a lot lighter and more difficult to cast, requiring many different knowledge of casts to use in different scenarios. While I might fail a lot of the time, Trying to get a better cast each time will prove, hopefully, to be more beneficial to me down the road and allow me to get farther casts out in the river and cover more water. But until then, my 50-60 foot cast will work just fine for catching these fish. Well, first spot ended up being a bust. So, good spot, lots of fish rolling, so just no takes. Ran through it a few times and uh, is what it is. It wouldn't be a fun fishing adventure. A little bit of uh, highs and lows. So, I'm gonna go uh, check out another spot on the river and uh, see what we can't find out.
Focus. All right, first day, no fish, but that's all right. Saw a bunch of really awesome country. I really haven't explored too much, and uh, tomorrow should be a little bit better. Just kind of knowing the general uh, theme of how things are kind of laid out and what runs I should be looking for. So I'm hopeful, have a bump or two tomorrow and uh, see if we can hook into a fish so might end up tying a few flies before I head to bed but be up and at, up and at them early tomorrow morning again so yeah we'll see what happens then fingers crossed out here uh, started early in the morning again fish through the evening so um, I'm just gonna start out with the green butt skunk again so it was, it's, it's been a good fly for me this season and I've had a lot of success with it and uh, lots of hits so I'm gonna keep doing that my dad's gonna end up showing up with me he ended up uh, come out and, and uh, swing some flies too so he's pretty new to it as well and uh, should have a, a fun time kind of making a fool of ourselves so See what can happen today.
<laughs> Rainbow! That <laughs> scared the heck out of me. I thought it was a steelhead finally. First catch so far. Little baby rainbow. I want you, but about... Oh, there he goes. <laughs> I want one of those, but about 10 times bigger. That would be nice. There we go, steelhead. There we go. Oh. oh my gosh. No, he's off. It's off. No. Oh my gosh. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. What happened there? Yeah, oh my gosh, how? I set the hook, it was perfect. It just didn't set well. He bent me out, that's what happened. Fish bent me out. Oh my gosh, that's tragic. Oh, it was a nice one too. Gosh darn it. Oh, heartbreak, absolute heartbreak. There you go. Little trout. <laughs> Why can't it be a steelhead?
Well, we're getting action. That's the good side. Good side of everything. There's fish here. That's a steelhead. That was a steelhead. You've got to be kidding me. How? He didn't, oh my gosh. That's two fish now. He didn't grab it enough. He, he grabbed it, he pulled it, but it never set in his mouth. Guys, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I can't do anything right right now. I'm choking. That was a steelhead again. That's two steelhead in like 30 minutes. That's a steelhead. That was a steelhead. He, he, hook, he grabbed it, but he didn't hook himself again. He just grabbed it. You could see his huge boil behind the fly. Alright, I'm gonna switch up flies and go back to that same fish. There we go. Got him, steelhead. There we go, got him. Steelhead. Finally. There we go. Steelhead, they're coming straight at me. The barbless hooks, you gotta be careful. It's a little guy, but it's, I'm pretty sure it's a steelhead.
No. I think it's just a big rainbow. Yeah, just a big rainbow. Ate it like a steelhead, though. It might be a small steel. I don't know. Nice rainbow, though. But definitely not the fish that were biting before. You can see the clipped adipose, but these fish can still spawn. So I'm going to get him back on his way. Treated just like any other steelhead. Nice rainbow, though. There he goes. All right. Well, that ended up being quite the uh, crushing end to uh, the last night out here. <laughs> Losing four solid steelhead eats. Um, so, it's crushing, but it's also encouraging because I'm going to be heading back out tomorrow morning to the same spot. Uh, and I feel really good about my chances to catch one. So, we'll see you then. Let's get it. Got him, steelhead, steelhead, there we go. Oh my gosh, you can see him wake on it. Oh my gosh, it's a big one. Oh my gosh. That was the coolest thing in my entire life. Oh my gosh. That was amazing. Finally. Oh, I gotta keep the pressure on him. This is a big fish. He's coming up here. You saw him. I saw him. I was swinging the fly and I saw a wake behind the fly. A big old wake coming and chasing it. And then he finally ate it. That's amazing.
He's not done. He's still got it running in. I can tell. There it is. Oh my gosh. There he goes. He's still going. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like I got a good hook set on him. It's a small hook and barbless though, so I have to be careful. And the last one bent out on me. Come on. Can we finally make it happen? It feels like a good fish. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Don't come off, don't come off. I thought that was it. I thought I... My guides are freezing like crazy right now. I'm scared that's gonna mess up the fish. Fish has gotta be getting tired though. If Oh yeah. This is where you lose it. I'm gonna take off my gloves so I don't remove the slime of the fish. Had them on because it's below freezing right now. But when I tail the fish, I don't want to have the gloves on so I don't remove any of the slime. It's a beautiful hen. Not as big as I was thinking it was, but amazing fish. This is the scariest part right here. Oh, the line's getting wrapped around her fins, but I can't move her. She's being stubborn. Walk up here, keep her from banging her heads on the her head on the rocks. See if I can't get her over here and tail her. Not yet, not yet. Bring her in. She's getting tired. Got her. Wow, what a fish. What a fish. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. Finally, it happened. That is incredible. This is a beautiful, beautiful hen. Take off my gloves so I don't, again, remove the slime. Wow. <laughs> this is amazing that has to be one of the coolest things ever it's actually quite a big fish as a release. <laughs> she just got out of my grip when I was trying to change hands, but uh, popped out. Amazing fish though, that is awesome. Well, that is <laughs> the biggest relief. It's still early in the morning, but man, after these long, past few days to finally land a fish 
after having no hits for almost three days straight. Uh, that just feels great. The eat was absolutely amazing too. You can just see the fish chasing the fly from like 10 feet away and waking on it and then waiting for that tug and you just couldn't, you couldn't pull it, but you knew that fish was coming and it was there. Fishing with the dry line is so fun, but uh, beautiful fish. I'm so happy, so happy we were able to get one. So, and, and wasn't a beautiful release, but uh, the fish got out safe and that's all that matters in the long run. So I'm fine with that, but it was a beautiful, beautiful steelhead. And, feel like a weight's just been lifted off my shoulders. <laughs> Focus. Yeah, well that about does it for me on this trip. So <laughs> I'm so happy it ended that way. Um, finally got a fish. So felt like it wasn't gonna happen for a while. Having no bumps for two days. I gotta get back for class and uh, tie up some more flies. So I definitely plan on getting back out here again soon though. The season for me here where I am right now uh, is just probably going to be consistent for a little while so I should still be able to fish dry line for the steelhead. Uh, a lot more traditional flies until I have to start putting on sink tips and nymphing but the, uh, the dry line has been fun and it's been a big learning curve but I'm enjoying the heck out of it so I'll be back out here soon and have another video up soon hopefully so thanks for watching guys.